my English class last year, I learned about the hero's journey. This common template for stories made famous by Joseph Campbell goes like this. A hero ventures forth from the world of common day into a region of supernatural wonder. Fabulous and often terrifying forces are then encountered, and after much struggle, decisive victory is won. The power comes home from this journey with the power to bestow good things on his fellow man. Remember the Lion King? After Simba's father is killed, he feels responsible for the death and runs away. It is a dark and lonely time for him, but his friends soon help him find his way home and his power. And don't we see these same kinds of journeys play out in our own lives? A recent set of eight studies revealed that viewing your own life as a hero's journey leads to many benefits. This includes having a clearer sense of self, being able to obtain good friends, creating stronger goals, and viewing your life as more meaningful. We are all on our own hero's journey, and along the way, we need superpowers. But finding our own superpowers can be hard. My hero's journey started on June 16th of 2017, when I was only 11 years old. I received a call that would change the trajectory of my life. My aunt called to say that my father had passed. The cause was acute myeloid leukemia. I didn't even know that he had leukemia, so this news made me feel an immense amount of emotions ranging from sadness to anger to even a bit of relief. To complicate matters, I didn't know my father. He left when I was two, and my mother raised myself and my siblings on her own. So like Simba, after this phone call, I felt lost and ungrounded. For years, these strong feelings loomed. I felt uneasy, confused. I didn't know how I was supposed to feel and what I was supposed to do. It was not only the loss of my father, but the loss of never knowing him. I thought that maybe if I had known him, I would feel great sadness and grief. But it was a different type of grief I felt. I felt a bit conflicted, a bit confused, so lost. But, like Simba, I have great friends who have really helped me. Two years ago, when I was a sophomore in high school, I was on a retreat for my confirmation, and one of the leaders told us about how he was raising money through a foundation called the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Hearing the word leukemia that day struck something in me. Suddenly, I had an idea that I just couldn't get out of my head. A few days later, I discussed this idea with my mom, and as we talked about it, these big feelings were no longer in the background. Later, I talked to my friends, my guidance counselor, and even my therapist, and knew that this is what I had to do. I was going to fundraise in honor of my dad and my loss. My idea was to announce my fundraiser online on what would have been my dad's 60th birthday. It felt like this big secret was about to be laid out for everyone to see. I hit post, and the tears started to flow from my eyes. When I first started telling people about my dad, it was uncomfortable. It was more complicated than just the loss of my father. But, like with everything, after doing it so much, it then began to feel okay. I wasn't choking up on my words and not looking people in the eye. I was confident in what I had to say. When I think of my story, I think a lot about Simba. He had to come home to himself before he could go home. For me, I had to turn into this huge hurt and really feel it to find my strength, my superpower. I feel like for my whole life, I've been watching my friends with their dads whether they were teaching their daughters how to ride a bike or swing a bat, 
my feelings of loss would surface. After I raised about $15,000 for blood cancer research, I was extremely proud. But I was even more proud of the fact that I took the opportunity to begin to heal myself. At the campaign's closing gala, I was sitting down while others were chatting, eating, walking around. It all felt so surreal to me until I felt a drop on my arm. I was crying. I finally had that release. We each have our own hero's journey, but we don't get to choose when they begin. Mine involved reaching out to my community and raising money and awareness. But you don't have to raise $15,000 for leukemia to step into your bravery and really look at what's hurting inside of you. You can reflect on yourself every day. In life, I believe, it is not about what happens to you, but it's about gathering the courage to really look at your wounds and feel your pain. Thank you. <laughs>